psychologist Abraham Maslow suggested that humans are motivated to satisfy five basic needs. Maslow arranged these needs in the order they must be filled, starting with those most basic. These needs fall under two categories, physical needs, which are the most basic human needs, and psychological needs, which relate to the mind and feelings that people must need to live a satisfying life. Maslow believed we need to satisfy our basic needs before we can think about anything else. We must be sure our physical needs are met first. They have priority over others because they are essential for survival. What are our physical needs? First, water. Then food. Next, Shelter, lastly, sleep. If you think about when you're in class and you're starving because it's right before lunch, the only thing you can think about is food. You're not paying attention to your teacher. You're not paying attention to what's being written on the board. You really typically don't have any idea what is going on in class because the only thing you're thinking about is the fact that you're starving. This is what Maslow is talking about. When we don't receive food and water, we tend to think a lot about those two things. If we're very tired and we haven't gotten enough sleep, the only thing we typically think about is when we're going to be able to go and take a nap. These physical needs need to be met before we can think about other things. Housing provides shelter from the weather. An archaeologist studies how culture provides shelter, including the materials used, such as an adobe, and different forms of housing, such as a yurt. Housing provides for water and food preparation. Housing also provides space for rest and relaxation. These are all ways that housing helps to provide for our physical needs. Housing meets physical needs of humans. What physical needs do these photos show that are met through housing? Psychological needs. After meeting physical needs, people strive to meet psychological needs through housing, including security, love and acceptance, esteem, and self-actualization. Security provides protection from the outside world, including physical danger and the unknown. When we live in a house that provides us security, such as locks, we tend to not have to think about this as a need. However, if you've ever been in a situation where someone has broken into your house, that security need has been broken. And so now the only thing you think about is the fact that you don't feel safe in your house. If you're unable to feel safe where you are, you tend to think a lot about that safety. That could also mean in other environments such as school, work, or even a religious place. The next step is love and acceptance, also sometimes referred to as belonging. This is displayed through housing in several ways, including providing a private place to be and receiving tasks as part of a group. How many of us have our own bedroom? How many of us wish we had our own bedroom? During COVID, did you have a private place to complete your tasks for school? Are you receiving tasks as a part of a group? Are you responsible for doing certain things around the house, making it feel like you are accepted as part of the family and that you are responsible as part of the family? Housing tells others something about you and helps you gain esteem by approval from others for a clean, neat home, but it also gives living in a pleasant home can help you gain self-esteem. Housing provides a place in which a person can progress towards becoming capable and develop into his or her full potential, otherwise known as self-actualization. Broken down, physical needs. In the history, we used to locate ourselves near food and water. However, nowadays, we dedicate areas in our dwelling for our physical needs. How many of us have a kitchen? How many of us have a bedroom? How many of us have a bathroom? Security. 
Our houses provide a security from the outside world and elements. It also provides protection from physical danger. Love and acceptance. Having our own room shows us others care about our needs. When given tests, it shows we are accepted as a person within the group. Esteem. Our houses allow us to gain approval and respect from others. Living in a pleasant, satisfying home can help gain self-respect. Self-actualization. Housing is the place where each person can progress toward becoming all that he or she is capable of being. Psychological needs to can be pursued after physical needs are met. How do these photos demonstrate psychological needs being met through housing?